Welcome! In this video I want to show you guys how to do this with MSI Afterburner. I'll be going through everything step by step and I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. We're gonna start from scratch. Open Google, search for MSI Afterburner download and go to MSI's official website. Here we have the final and the beta version of the software. Go with the final version because the beta one can be unstable. Upon clicking it, the download is gonna start right away. Once downloaded, extract the files and open the folder that we extracted. Inside this folder, there should be only one setup file. Once you open it, it'll ask you to install MSI Afterburner and Norton 360 Antivirus. Make sure to uncheck everything else that is not MSI Afterburner here, we only wanna install MSI Afterburner. Click install and simply follow the process. Once you make it to this point, make sure that both boxes are checked. One will be for MSI Afterburner and the other one will be for RivaTuner Statistics Server. From here on out, click next on everything and do the same thing with RivaTuner installation as well. If you don't have DirectX installed, it's gonna install it for you. Once everything is done, uncheck every box and click finish on both windows. By the way, in case it asks you to restart the PC at any point, select the option to restart it later, because this is the time that you would wanna restart the PC if it ever asked you to do so. Either way, now that the software is installed onto your system, select on-screen display tab and set hotkey for toggle on-screen display. My hotkey will be F7. Apply and go to benchmark tab. Set the hotkeys here for begin recording and stop recording. The word recording here means that the application will start counting the FPS. So if I start recording here, it means that I'm telling the application to start counting the 1% lows, the averages and so on. I set Alt F8 and F8 keys for these functions. By the way, if it asks you if you wanna download the latest version of RivaTuner here, just decline it because it will most likely be the beta version and we wanna stay on the final version like I mentioned at the start of the video. And in case you wanna adjust the size of the text, simply open RivaTuner and use the slider. Now let's go to the monitoring tab in MSI Afterburner to choose what exactly we want to be displayed on our screen. I usually display my GPU and CPU usage, their frequencies, temperature, RAM usage, and of course the current FPS. The next step that we're gonna do is the one that will actually display all of this info on our screen while gaming. Select the info that you wanna be shown on your screen and check this show in on-screen display box for every single one of them. Now let's open a game and see what the overlay looks like. I'm gonna use Unigine Heaven because it's easy to work with. You can honestly open any game you want, it doesn't really matter. But if you open CS2, it will not work. To make it work in that game specifically, simply type this in the launch options. Anyhow, this is what our current overlay looks like. Not bad, but let's make a few adjustments. Go back to the monitoring tab and switch the display type of frame rate from text to text and graph. And for frame time, just add it to graph. Now we're gonna see these lines that will make it a lot easier for us to see if there was a frame drop in the game. Let's change the color of these graphs. I will set it to white, but you can choose any color you want. Let me actually move this window a bit to the right because it's kinda covering the overlay. Okay, so let's make this frame rate and frame time bar a bit shorter. By default, the width is set to 32. So we're gonna set it to 28 or something, it doesn't really matter. Now I'll show you how to change the names of the graphs on your overlay. Choose the graph that you want, check this box that says override group name and name it whatever you want. You can do this with every single graph by the way. And if you name multiple graphs the same name, they will combine and show the info in the same row. Since we named our GPU power PWR, it moved from the GPU section to its own section that is now called PWR. Let's do this with CPU power as well. I'm gonna name it C.PWR. Now if you wanna hide any of these graphs, simply uncheck them in the monitoring tab like so. Now I'm gonna show you how to display the 1% lows, 
average FPS and stuff like that. Remember the hotkeys that we set to toggle the display, to start recording and to stop recording. My hotkey to toggle the display is F7, which seems to be working just fine. Now let's click the key to start recording. For me it is Alt F8. Clicking the Alt F8 again will simply restart the recording. So the moment you click this key, it will start counting the FPS and show you the additional info that is part of the recording section. Since my key to stop recording is F8, if I click it once, it'll stop and if I click it once again, it'll stop showing that info altogether. Let me show you how to separate those graphs. Scroll all the way down in the monitoring tab and check the override group name box for those graphs. Let's name the 0.1% loads graph low 0.1%, the 1% graph low 1%, the average FPS graph average, and max FPS graph highest. Let's see how it looks in the overlay. You can honestly do a lot of stuff in these settings, like replace the names of the GPU and the CPU graphs with your own hardware's names, or simply change the design of the whole overlay altogether. Let's edit this overlay a bit more to make everything a lot more simple. I'm gonna hide the 0.1% lows, name the max FPS graph max, the average FPS graph AVG, and the 1% lows graph low. I think it looks a lot cleaner like this, but you can obviously do it any way you want. On that note, let's wrap up this video. Hope this guide was useful to you. And if there is something else that you wanna know, feel free to ask in the comments below. Bye bye!